Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to talk about the Great Texas Coin Spill. In 2001 in October, a truck laden with 7 million United States pennies crashed in West Texas near the town of Lubbock. The worst penny spilled in the United States meant history. When police responded to the accident scene between the tractor trailer rig carrying the pennies from Denver to San Antonio for delivery and an oil equipment truck, they found two people dead and one person very badly injured. In addition, the police found 7.6 million pennies scattered over the ditch next to the highway, a dirt ditch covered like an orange shag carpet with new pennies. Robert Massingale brought eight dump trucks full of mud and pennies to a work site and there set about cleaning those pennies. In 2001, the U.S. Mint had made 5 billion pennies at the Denver Mint. 7.6 million pennies wasn't going to put a dent in the actual distribution of pennies for that year. The problem that Mr. Massingale had was how do you clean them? You, c you couldn't really put them in one of those shaker things for rocks, and you couldn't use some of the normal separating processes. You couldn't, of course, use any kind of metal or magnetic because, remember, in 1992, we went to the zinc pennies. So the center of them was zinc, and you wouldn't be able to get a magnet that would pick them out of the mud. And so what he settled on was going on the Internet and finding out that many people clean their pennies, if they find an old dirty penny, with vinegar and salt. Of course, those of us who collect pennies know you should never, never, ever clean a penny with vinegar and salt. You should never ever clean a penny at all. 